In today's video, we'll talk about engine misfires, causes, and fixes. We'll also explore the various factors that can lead to engine misfires and how they can impact your car's performance. Let's get started. Let's start by defining what a misfire actually is. In most engines, there are multiple cylinders, each responsible for generating power. When one of the cylinders fails to produce power as it should, a misfire happens. This disrupts the engine's smooth operation, causing it to run roughly, affecting the overall performance of the engine. The first thing to know here is that misfires aren't exactly predictable. It's not merely isolated to one cylinder, but it typically involves two or more cylinders. So, when addressing misfires, it's important to consider the possibility of multiple cylinders being involved. Now let's look at the diagnostic trouble codes, starting with P0300. This code signifies random multiple cylinder misfire detected. It occurs when the engine's computer detects misfires happening across multiple cylinders without pinpointing a specific culprit. Common causes include malfunctioning spark plugs or ignition coils, fuel system anomalies, vacuum leaks, or even compression irregularities within the engine. Following P0300, we have P0301, indicating a Cylinder 1 misfire detected. Then there are the P0302, P0303, P0304, and P0305 codes, corresponding to misfires detected in Cylinders 2, 3, 4, and 5, respectively, and so forth. These codes show up when the engine's computer identifies a misfire in any of the specified cylinders. Possible causes of these codes may include faulty spark plugs, ignition coils, fuel injectors, or compression issues within the cylinders just like in P0300. When it comes to misfires, one critical indicator to look at is the flashing check engine light, which will tell you that it's pretty serious. So, if you're driving and that check engine light starts flashing, you need to act fast. Don't wait around and address it right away. This time, let's look into the various conditions that can lead to a misfire in your engine. Begin by inspecting the condition of the spark plugs. If you observe significant wear and notice that the gap between them has widened excessively, it is advisable to replace all the spark plugs. This step may effectively resolve the issue of random intermittent misfires. Now, if your spark plugs check out fine, it's time to consider something that's affecting the whole engine. That's where vacuum leaks come into play. Take a look at all those vacuum lines attached to the intake manifold and pay close attention to where they connect. Check if any of the hoses are cracked or damaged, which could be causing them to suck in air where they shouldn't be. In older model cars, use a carburetor cleaner to carefully spray around the intake manifold. Given that in newer cars, the manifolds are often made of plastic, which can develop cracks or have gaskets that wear out. So while the engine is running, spray around the intake manifold, and if you notice any change in how the engine idles, it's a sign there's a leak that needs fixing. Here's another potential cause for those random misfires. Low fuel pressure. To identify this issue, grab yourself a fuel pressure gauge and crack open your fuel injection system. If the pressure is low, it could indicate a malfunctioning fuel pump or a clogged fuel filter. Start by swapping out the fuel filter since it's a cheaper and simpler fix. Sometimes, a clogged fuel filter may be the root cause of low fuel pressure. Plus, it's a whole lot easier paying for a pricey electric fuel pump, which can set you back a couple of hundred dollars. The last common cause of intermittent misfires we will address today is a faulty battery. Given that nowadays cars rely heavily on electronic systems controlled by computers, it's wise to have your battery assessed using diagnostic equipment. This process is swift and straightforward and only involves connecting the diagnostic machine to each battery terminal to start the test. So, if your check engine light is on with random intermittent misfire codes, now you've got a plan. A compression test is your go-to diagnostic tool to assess your engine's mechanical health. While it may not provide all the answers, it's definitely a solid starting point. Now that we've got the lowdown on the typical issues that cause engine misfires, how do we fix it head-on 
if we're dealing with it ourselves? Well, head straight to your trusted mechanic. Then mechanics typically conduct a comprehensive examination of the ignition system, fuel system, and various engine components to pinpoint exactly what's causing the misfire. They want to get to the bottom of things so they can set things right by ensuring a thorough diagnosis. When it comes to addressing engine misfires, they use various techniques tailored to the specific issue at hand. This may involve replacing worn-out spark plugs, fine-tuning faulty ignition coils, giving fuel injectors a thorough cleaning, or addressing any airflow restrictions in the engine. There you have it. This concludes now our discussion on engine misfire codes, their causes, and potential fixes you can explore. If you enjoy videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe so we can assist you. Fix it!